I acknowledge the uh, ceremonies of welcome. They are always very humbling. I do not think that it is unique to the Pacific Island and its communities that when we accord these ceremonies of welcome in their highest traditional form, we bring home to our visitors that we are one. We are a community. We are a village. We are a family. Whether we can follow the language or the dialect or not, our spirit converse and communicate. I can only reciprocate the honor by serving the Pacific Island Forum in the remaining term and also continue as a member after I as Prime Minister hand over to my successor. So I sit here and uh, recall the time when I was one of the youngest leaders in the forum. When uh, the Prime Minister of Samoa called me after I was sworn in as Prime Minister, for the Prime Minister I asked her, do you remember when we were the youngest in the forum? Nothing to boast about, but I'm probably the oldest leader coming back into lead to leadership in the Pacific. And thank you for the sentiments expressed and the congratulatory remarks conveyed to me from your heads of government and from you here this evening. I recall the early stages of the forum, the commission, all the regional bodies our four leaders had and formed and worked towards forging them to be great success stories, not only of our region, but in the world. It was natural for them, and it should continue to be natural for us. Whether we call it the Wiley with our bigger neighbors, or we call it one talk in the Melanesian communities, whether we call it Kainga or Kaivata or whatever. only reigniting that flame of recognition that we are one. I remember standing in awe as a young officer, the various guards of honor we had to mount for the distinguished leaders of the Pacific 
when they came to Fiji to visit or to confer. I was proud. I was proud to be honoring them as a member of my country's military forces. Honored also to be here and to see my brother sitting up here. And I'm sure he will ask me whether I've received my invitation to go and meet with the President of the United States at the prayer breakfast next month. I'm also asking him if he gets his invitation, please take me along. The Pacific Island Forum was built on the firm and strong relationships that the founding fathers had with each other in those early days. The Pacific was part of the world movement towards independent nationhood. after the Second World War era. Our colonial masters realized that we were strong enough to look after ourselves. The British started withdrawing from east of Suez and started concentrating on the new independent nations and extending their hands of friendship to guide us. And the other colonial powers did the same. Now we are proud members of the international community, standing on our own, yet relying on one another and together, hand in hand, we are a community that has been responsible for its own region and responsible for the rest of the world. We are leaders, and we are also followers. We give, and we also receive. We thrive best when we unite. We fight best when we unite. And we defend best when we unite. We share our values. And we value one another. The challenges we, we face individually may look so insurmountable, but when we come together, Eleanor, confer, we realize we're not the only ones having those problems. And even just the understanding that we're not standing alone with our problems heals the burden, eases the burden. And that is the unique nature of the forum. I'm sure other regional bodies feel the same. I'm proud to be here with you, my brothers and sisters. The match we have, we have different colored wool. The more the colors, 
the better the mat, whether it's Dodo or Bombati, the design of our Mashi, Natu, Tapa, bring home to us the strength of unity. It may be difficult to imagine that our differences contribute to our strength. We tend to limit ourselves to our differences without realizing that contributing our differences to the unit makes that unit very strong. And I'm really looking forward to contributing to developing the firm. We pay our respects to the leaders of the past, and we owe it to them to forge this unity and work forward from here with stronger resolve to strengthen the region and our commitment to the various things that are on the program and we together tackle the common threat to our very survival here in the Pacific. I promise that the government I lead, while I'm chair, or even after I chair, will be committed to our collective goals, our collective mission, and our one vision for a great united Pacific region. And I call on all of you. And I call on all of you. And I call on government leaders in the Pacific to come together and forge forward move forward in unity. I created a, a short poem, and it goes like this. There are steel ships and wooden ships. There are great ships and small ships. They're trading ships that, that trade the oceans and small ships that trade along the coasts. But the greatest of them all are friendships, and may they last forever. Navalio. Thank you, um, Honorable Prime Minister.